morning everyone, my name is Maddox Sterk. I'm the Vice President of the SUNY Coble Skill Chapter of Ducks Unlimited. Out here with some fellow, fellow club members and hunters. We got a little late jump on the morning, trying to figure out where we're gonna hunt. We, we have a lot of birds in the area, just trying to pattern them and figure out what's gonna be best. We're getting rolling here now, trying to figure out the best way to drive out in the field. Thankfully, the farmer's letting us do that so we can get a quick decoy spread set up. Blinds are mostly brushed in, so shouldn't be too bad, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get rolling and uh, hopefully have a great morning. Yeah, the same three. Well, the thing is, there was five of them when they started, and then when they flew away, there's only three. Okay. So we're out here this morning uh, on a cornfield, uh, pretty close to where we were yesterday afternoon, and we've uh, changed up our decoy spread quite a bit. So we've got uh, kind of a semi J with a big blop of geese over here, and then we've got uh, a couple uh, silos right in the middle, and it spreads out to this left here. We're hoping to get, you know, two two kill holes, one over here and then one here. We've kind of got our blinds positioned where uh, some guys will shoot at this hole, some guys will shoot at that hole. And then we've also got some full body field mallards out with two mojos. We're hoping the ducks are probably gonna land right bef uh, behind the mojos, but um, we've had about two flocks of ducks come in. They, they circled a few times, they were cupping in, and uh, just, we weren't prepared to be honest with you. They kind of caught us off guard. So uh, now we're just kind of laying low making sure we don't mess up on any more flocks. And uh, they seem to like it already, and we've got a little bit more of a wind going today. Uh, it's overcast, we got a light drizzle coming down. So it's definitely a good day for the waterfowl to be flying. No way! The oh. brand new phone? You. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the black one. <laughs> Holy sh- oh, those are seagulls. These yeah. are coming back, these are coming back. Yeah, but don't shoot a seagull. Yeah, don't, don't shoot seagulls, please. Oh, boy. He's dead. Just, just try to shoot him if you can. Where are those ducks at? They're circling everywhere. They're up, they're down. How many did we drop? Oh, wait. This guy's getting a lot of good content of how not to get out of layout blind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also look like an idiot. I was caught on, right. on this in my <laughs> fucking <laughs> So, 
The birds have all been flying off the lake like they did yesterday. They've been coming over these trees here. These ones came a little bit behind us. Came around, they did a couple loops. It was about a flock of 12 to 20. Four broke off and we had ducks above them. So we decided to take those four and end up dropping three out of the four. And we got six out of the 18 geese we can shoot so far. So we're almost there. Sounds good. Yeah, I think I missed three times, so <laughs> someone over here can shoot. Of, or no, 13. 10 out of 12, 18. 10 out of 20, uh, yeah. Three limits? I thought they were a lot closer than when we shot. In the blind, they, I thought I they mean, were I mean, either like way, here. they were dropping down. So. They were close. I just wish I waited longer, because that would have been an easier. We would have shot way more. Soon we pulled as soon as I sat. <laughs> Up, up, shoot them. Bye. <laughs> 
Two guys in the box. I don't see him. Duck coming over. Duck coming over. Duck coming over. Shoot the dog! That one's going down. I, I missed. one on the left. I shot the one on the right. So that was yours, Drake, and Noah's? I shot the green head. <laughs> ducks. Those and then that one, pretty I also shot at that other one, but I don't know if I hit it. Wait, did you notice when those geese started flying, the wind just died? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was so, like... You know what the problem was? Did you fix my mojo? No. Dang. They were seeing what? white from oh. the side. Yeah, they were seeing the white from the mojo. Did you see them flare? They yeah. flare every time. I was, I was, oh, here. <laughs> Shoot these two. A little, a little late on the call. I know. There. Shoot them. They're still in range. That's one. My bad. And oh my God, Louis! I would have shot him that. Dude. Me and Max would have got those if yeah. you didn't freaking Well, I thought Mag, they were. You're not shooting. Oh, okay. I no, fours, I, so I, didn't I didn't expect. I call. I thought they right, wouldn't call flare. Back, call them back. Call as soon back, as they flared, I called it because I didn't. March, 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 It's the wind they're trying to play. It doesn't seem like it because that should have been perfect wind. Uh, I think because half our sills are tipped over and we have geese kind of just laying about. Uh, all right. You guys fix decoys. I'll bump them up. Hold on, wait for them to land because they can't see us. I'm not worried about killing them. Yeah, but when where they are, we can't. See. When they land, they can't. We can't see their heads. Wait, they're landing facing. There's too many eyes.
shoot that one. Nice shot. Oh. All right, back down, back down, back down. All right, I won't shoot no more. All right, so it's about uh, 9 a.m. We've been having a really good shoot so far. It was super foggy this morning, and it kind of helped us blend in. Our first two, three flocks of birds all just, they were cupped up from a quarter mile away is what it felt like. They, they dumped right in. It was, it was gorgeous. The sun kind of broke the horizon, and it's been clearing up a little bit, but we've been seeing birds fly, I mean, solid. It's been solid action for, you know, two and a half hours here. Like, actually, there's some flying over there. But um, we're just a few geese shy of a limit. We, uh, we did manage to pick up uh, a couple of mallards, uh, Drake and a hen. I know it's a couple of these guys' first experience with field mallards, which is really cool. Just, it's been a really great hunt so far. Um, we're looking forward to what the next you know, half hour, hour has to offer. Hopefully we can close it out on a good note. Lights up on your spinning right now. Just finishing up our Sunday morning field hunt here on some chopped corn. We uh, were able to get a bunch of geese. We were a couple short of our limit, but we had a bunch work beautifully, as you'll see in the video. We took the shots that we could take and managed to get most of the birds that decoyed in. We got two bonus field mallards along with that, and it was an amazing hunt with some amazing people. This is the last day we're doing this, so if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, go do it from this Cobalt Skill uh, swing. And if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.